Hello everyone, my name is Natalia and tomorrow there's a solar eclipse, a full one, which is the first time in 16 years here in Denmark. Whoop whoop! And that's why I'm gonna show you how to make this bad boy here. It's maybe too big for the frame, but it's a pinhole mirror where you look into this tube here on the side and then you will see the sun <laughs> shining in through a tiny little hole here on the top of this L4. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. It's right there. No? Okay, um, it's very easy to make, it takes about 10 minutes and then you will be done with your pinhole viewer. So you won't be able to see directly into the solar eclipse because that will ruin your eyes, which isn't good. If you're interested in seeing how this is made, stick around and let's just get started. Start out by securing the bottom of the box by gluing it down. And push it down firmly to make it stick. Now it's time to attach the white paper and I've cut mine so that it fits the bottom. Then put a generous amount of glue on it and then put the paper on top of it and give it a good press to make it stick properly. Then close up the box so no light will get in. Then take your ruler and make an 8cm square in the middle of the box. Then take your box cutter and cut it out. As you can see here, there's still a layer of lid, so pick up one of the lids and then cut around it according to the size of the square above. Then take a rectangular piece of tin foil and then tape it on top of the square. In order to see inside the box we need to make a circular hole on the side of the box. So take a piece of construction paper with the measurements down below and roll it into a tube. Then place some tape on one of the ends of the paper to close it up. So roll it up and close it up. Then place your rolled up tube on the middle of the side you need to work on. Then draw around the bottom and then cut it out. And then check if it fits. It needs to point down so you can see the images on the white paper. But to make it easier to angle it downwards, you can cut out a little V shape. And then adjust the tube's angle. Now when that's settled, you can pin it down with a lot of tape. All that's left to do is to make a little hole in the middle of the tinfoil square. I haven't decorated this, but you can choose to do so, otherwise you're finished. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for leaving a like, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions you want to ask me, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll show you reply afterwards. And uh, if you want to see the upcoming videos, need to subscribe and be a part of our lovely DIY family here at the Blue Toe Box. So subscribe! And I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!